Hi and welcome to this new episode. Today we're going to talk about seven signs to tell if someone has your highest good at heart or not. Whether it is a family member, a partner, a friend or a professional you work with, like a coach, a healing facilitator, whatever. So, someone who has your highest good at heart will, number one, empower you and encourage you to validate yourself. They are not going to try to make you dependent on them. Two, they believe in you. Three, they don't judge you for your actions or words, but they will hold space for you. And they are not going to shame you for having the issue or facing the challenge that you are actually asking them for help to solve. Because to be honest with you, it happened to me. I hired coaches or facilitators before who ended up blaming me for having the issue I was paying them to help me solve. So, red flag. Four, they will tell you their honest opinion, even if that's not what you would like to hear, but they will do so in a kind way. Not to shame you, not to ridicule you, not to make you feel bad, but because they want the best for you. So they're not going to let you do something that is harmful for you. Five, they will respect your boundaries and actually appreciate that you have them. Because whoever has healthy boundaries with themselves is respecting themselves, therefore respecting others. Sixth sign, they genuinely care about you without hidden agenda or without having any expectations from you. They help from the heart. You know, it's not like, oh, I did this for you, so can you do this for me? Seventh sign, they celebrate your wins with you and they hold space for you in harder times. This is also very important because... Life can be hard sometimes. I mean, let's face it, sometimes we are in situations that are not really pleasant and sometimes we need an ear, you know, a non-judgmental ear that will just help us by holding space and showing support. No one has room for toxicity. You know what I mean? Like mind games, passive-aggressive behaviors or reproaches. You know, like someone who is taking notes oh, the other day you said this and blah, blah. Like, this is not healthy, right? So it can happen to not be sure what the other human meant, but then just ask. Like, if you're not sure what someone means, just ask for clarification. I'm sorry, I'm not sure I understand. Could you please explain your point? And that's how you avoid misunderstandings. So this was a very short episode to remind you that it's important to have balance in a relationship, whatever kind of relationship it is, like I said at the beginning, mutual respect, mutual holding space for each other. And I hope this helps. If you are having difficulties in your relationships or if you are being confronted with the same pattern repeating over and over again, maybe you can ask yourself if you are being this for yourself, this best friend, this benevolent ear that you need? Are you validating yourself? Even though others' actions are not saying anything about us, they can help us do the work and see where we need to work on ourselves, on our wounds. So I hope this helps. Like always, if you have any question, feel free to message me. If you want to book a call to see how we can work together, let me know. It's free. You can find the link in my bio. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you. Take care.